Hey there, I'm Meg, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design e-newsletter signup sheets like this, this, and this on Canva, a free cloud-based design software. So from here, you have two options. You have the shortcut, which is to head to the direct link down below or missmegabug.com slash freebies and get access to these templates, which look like this and then watch the video that goes with these templates and update them to fit your brand, or you can create your signup sheets from scratch. To create your signup sheets from scratch, keep watching this tutorial, I will show you how. So of course you're gonna to need to create a Canva account, and once you do, you're going to head to canva.com and once it loads, you're gonna to head to the upper right here and click that create a design button after you X out of any pop-ups. Click on custom size. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you change this to inches and then 8.5 by 11, basically a standard sheet of paper. You could also type in flyer, but I don't know, I think this is faster. <laughs> So the first thing I like to do is always name my Canva design so I know what I'm referring back to and so I can search for them. So something like e-newsletter sign up sheet, totally fine. Okay, so I like to start by creating this, which is where people actually write in their name and email address. So what you're gonna do is go to elements and then type in square. You're not gonna wanna type in rectangle because rectangles are not as editable as squares, as counterintuitive as that may be. And I like using either this one or this one. We're gonna mix it up and we're gonna use this one today. And then you can grab these outer handles and you can resize it. And then I like to click in the middle and just drag out and I also really like using these guides. It's good to leave a margin around your design because most printers cannot print to the edge. Okay, now from here, you're gonna wanna make a decision on how you want your signup sheet to look. So I'll show you what I mean. On this design, I have two businesses, and this also works if you have multiple email lists. So let's say that you have two businesses or multiple lists from one business and you want one sign-up sheet at your place of business. This allows people to sign up for whichever newsletters they want without having to enter their information on two different sign-up sheets. And it also saves you some space on your counter from needing two different sign-up sheets. So if that's the case, you're gonna wanna determine how many lists you have. So for me, I have two different businesses, so two lists. Or let's say you are a clothing company and you have a list for women, a list for men, and a list for children. You know, like not that you're marketing directly to kids, but list for marketing children's clothes, you would have three lists. So when you go back and you're making your design from scratch, you're going to want to leave some room to put in those squares. Now, a lot of this is pretty repetitive stuff and it can be irritating to have to redo what you did later. So I like to start by kind of eyeballing where I want this and then finishing this up later. So you're going to add... your three squares. So we're gonna say that you have three lists. And you're gonna need that square to be a little bit smaller. And at this point, I like to zoom in a bit. So I'm just dragging this slider. So line that up about here, and then copy by either clicking Command-C, Control-C on your keyboard, or you can right-click Copy, and then right-click Paste, or Command-Control-V. And then this is the little icon to move it around, move the element around, and then paste another one and make sure that they're all lined up and always leave that breathing room on the end. We can have a little less. And then now you can move this here. One thing that frustrates me about Canva is that you cannot 
adjust the width of this. So yes, it's a bit thick. It's irritating. If there ever is a way in the future, I will definitely show you. Okay, so then what I like to do is add my lines. And what you do is just type in line. It's usually the first one. Resize the width and drag it up so that way it kind of lines up underneath your squares here and you have plenty of writing room for people. And then you're going to change the color to whatever color your, your outer square is. So then what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste and you're going to kind of eyeball the distance. And then I have an even better way to make sure that it's more precise in the future. So what, what I did is I clicked on this element, held my shift key, clicked on this element, let go of my shift key, and I'm doing command C and command V, and I am moving these elements and aligning them with that one up above. And then I'm gonna go ahead and delete that second line. So that way the line isn't too thick. So keep doing that all the way down until you get to the bottom. You may have to resize the, the bottom here. And after you have your lines, what you're gonna wanna do is hold your left click and then drag around those elements and you're gonna to wanna to group them. So that way if you move it, the whole thing moves. Whereas if you didn't group them, let's say you moved this, your lines don't go with it. So it's definitely important to group. And then here, you're just gonna select all three of those and then copy and keep going on your merry way until you get down to the bottom. So the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is add your logo at the top here. And you can do that by clicking uploads and then upload media and you'll upload your logo from your computer. And then you will, let's just say that this is my logo. <laughs> then you'll just click it and then resize it and move it up here at the top. And then from here, it's pretty stylistically up to you. So you can do like if you have two businesses, you can set it up like this or one business, you can set it up like this or like this. And I'm just going to show you how to do this setup. But the, the premise is the same no matter which one you choose. It's pretty simple. Utilizes the same techniques. You're going to click on elements again and I have square and recently used, so I'm gonna be lazy and just click it. And move the edge, edges to where you want. Try to find the middle, use the guides, this is middle. And then I'm gonna drag this one to the top. And I'm going to want to move my logo over here, but notice that it's behind these elements. What you're going to do is position forward. There you go. So move your logo back here. I love Canva's guides. So that's middle there. Okay. So now we have our blocks. And in order to get it to look like this, what we're going to want to do is change the colors. So you can either click plus and enter or paste in your brand hex codes, or if you already have them entered in from the back end, you can just take that little shortcut. So all I'm doing is just clicking on the element, making sure this is selected, and I am changing the color. So that is definitely looking much better, although that's not quite aligned. So then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add a line to divide these elements because right now they're kind of overlapping. So add that line, change it to white. Boom. Looking better already. So I just copy pasted and I'm just going to move this 90 degrees to here. Drag that up. And boom. So what I recommend doing is having a line that piques the person's interest and makes them intrigued at the idea of signing up for your list. So mine is ready to build a thriving business, which is right here. And then it's here. 
And then the second one, you're going to want to add what the frequency of your e-newsletter list is as well as what they get out of your e-newsletter. So mine is sign up for my weekly e-newsletter list for business and marketing tips, tutorials, and freebies. And it's also here. So what you do is you just add text. It's really easy. We're going to click text and it doesn't really matter which one of these you choose. I usually like to go with this one because it's, it's not as much to resize. So you're going to shift that here. And then you can change the text color by clicking this. And you can change the font to something more in line with your brand. And I don't like how tall the line gap is on this font. So what you can do is click here and then line height. And you can kind of see it shrinking. And you can also change the letter spacing, which is cool. And then you can change the font size. And then, you know, just do the same up here. And I usually like to add text at the bottom. Um, that says, thank you for subscribing. So you would just put that there. And that's it. That is the premise of how to create an e-newsletter sign-up sheet on Canva from scratch. When you're done, what you do is click download and PDF print. Download it and then print from your computer. And I do recommend printing out a test print first just to make sure everything looks right, you didn't misspell anything, everything is sized appropriately, and that way you can make your edits from there and then you can print as many sign-up sheets as you'd like. So if you don't wanna go through that whole from scratch method, if you really just want to use the template, head to missmegabug.com slash freebies or check out the direct link down below. And if you're looking to learn even more Canva tips and tricks, check out my online mini course, Create with Canva. And if you'd like to learn even more about e-newsletter marketing, including how to get people on your list and how to make sales via email, check out my newest online mini course, Expand with Email. Both courses are linked below. Thank you for watching. I really hope it helped. I will see you in the next video.